Good morning, it is Sunday and we are going to the dog park. You can actually see him really well in the back seat. We're going to maybe check out two dog parks. There's one called Tabano Hollow that has weird hours. It's only like a dog park from 8 to 10 a.m. and then 3 p.m. to like sunset, super weird. So we might go see what it looks like, but as a backup in case it doesn't work out, we'll go to some place called Tucker's Grove. I went to once years ago when Wags and Whiskers used to be there, but that's kind of a bigger park and has a lot more going on. So we're gonna go and he'll go meet some friends, play with some doggies. Um, and afterwards I might get coffee and I might go to Ulta too because I feel like my skin is really dry <laughs> from this warm dry weather and I just need some moisture. So we've made it to that open space, the Tabano open space, or Tabano Hollow I think it's called. Um, it's just pretty residential. There's just homes, plenty of parking. I see one big dog down there. Um, the funny thing was the car, when I put the car in park, it, it gave a ding, 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 rear seat reminder. Because I guess they could tell Slinky was in the back seat um, in his little car seat. Oh, there's a couple of people. Okay. Okay. Here's the space. I see a few people, a few big dogs over here. Hey, Slinky. We changed parks. The um, park that we were just at does like officially close at 10 a.m. for dogs and the park rangers can come by and give you tickets. So I was like, okay, let's leave. Now I'm at Tucker's Grove, which is a way bigger park with a lot of people and, and people barbecuing and stuff. And I just don't know where the dog park is at here because this is kind of big. Um, kids play area, barbecue. They continue to barbecue till way down there. It's a pretty big parking lot. I just don't know where the dog park is at here. I'm trying to find you some Turns friends. out the dog park's supposed to be here at the end of this road. There's no signs, no indication of it. Jeez Louise, <laughs> really barely anyone here. I When I first got here, I moved, I drove around the whole parking lot trying to find something. I didn't see anything saying dog park. So then I went and parked, asked this old dude who was cleaning his car and he was like, oh, it's way down there. It's a little walk and it's past like some fences and gates and stuff. So weird. So turn the car off. Rear seat reminder. Look in rear seat. Oh god. <laughs> I got my doggy reminder. <laughs> it's actually still up there. <laughs> hey, so I am preparing tonight's dinner. We're using a recipe from damndelicious.net called baked apple pork chops and green beans. Except instead of green beans, because we didn't love them last time, we're going to substitute it with twice baked potatoes. Yum! So the pork chops actually don't take too long to eat, or excuse me, to cook. I'm hungry, can you tell? But I'll show you the, the recipe. Baked apple pork chops. This is her picture of it, of course. So anyways, um, yeah, I've got the potatoes in the oven. They take a long time. In there, I've never done the twice baked, so that'll be interesting. I've got these big old pork chops. I'm gonna rub them with some sage, and I already cut the apples um, early. They're getting kind of icky, but um, a little bit brown. Anyways, I just wanted to chop them up early, and then I'll cook these on the stove top with some butter. Um, so that's what I'm doing right now. My potatoes look awful. I used russet potatoes, and you're supposed to use baking potatoes, and I didn't see that at Trader Joe's, so. These look so ugly. Stitch, get down from that counter. Get down from there. No stinker. I need to wash my hand again. Anyways, um, these potatoes are not looking the way I want them to look. <laughs> potatoes are looking a little bit more potato-y. I put in the mashed potatoes fillings, put on some cheese. I'm not gonna bother with bacon because I feel like I have too much going on um, in terms of all these different things to make and I was really frustrated with how ugly the potatoes looked, but now they don't look so bad because now they're all covered up. Right now I'm just cooking the apples. I added cinnamon, nutmeg, and brown sugar, and then I'm going to add some maple syrup in a bit, and the pork chops are ready. We've got some really big ones today, and then the potatoes are currently in the oven. So we've got our plates ready. They are ginormous. We've got pork chops covered with apples, with the cinnamon, and then really, really big potatoes, twice baked potatoes, and then extra twice baked potatoes. They were falling apart, not really 
holding into any shape, so that's why I made these little ones. Anyways, it's time for our dinner tonight. It's the evening now. Ooh, bright light. Um, I just wanted to show you the little bit of Halloween decorations that we put up. So Andy's mom dropped off some of her old decorations that she didn't want anymore yesterday on Saturday. So we put up some decorations. It's our first time having Halloween decorations at the house, which we're super excited about. So um, it's really just the front entrance where you can see it, which is going to be good for when kids come by and trick or treat. Andy put this up today. We've got orange lights along the top of the garage. And then we've got some blinking lights that I put inside of these little bushes. Um, so I think when kids come up the trick or treat, they'll see the little eyes staring at them out of the bushes and that'll be kind of neat for them. And then his mom also had this little cat. So we've got a little cat down there and then you probably can't I don't know how well you can see it because it's dark out, but he, she also gave us um, some other things like these two little tombstones and then this spider. You actually, I think, can turn on the spider, but I think it might be broken, but we'll see. Maybe we can fix it before Halloween. And then this is the only piece that I've had since I had my tiny little apartment was a Hello Kitty trick or treat. <laughs> <laughs> so this is our home getting ready for Halloween. <laughs> I also wanted to show you some of the sheet masks that I got at Ulta today. I was only going to get one, but then I was like, oh my gosh, there's so many and they all look fun. This one um, has hyaluronic acid, so that'll be really good because my skin has been dry, illuminating. <laughs> we'll see. Another hydrating one. And lavender will be nice and relaxing. This egg cream mask. I think these are pretty popular and I know Sephora has them too. And then this jelly mask sheet it makes me wonder does it feel like jelly does it smell and taste like jelly i don't know but i got all these little sheet masks and they have like so many nowadays like at ulta or sephora it's all these little sheet masks so they'll be fun to use probably tonight i feel like i want to take care of my skin because i've been getting um stressed out with work and everything going on so yeah, anyways, well, I hope that you had a good weekend and that you enjoyed watching. Bye-bye.